Hello and welcome to the very first episode of STEM for Girls by Girls in STEM. I'm your host Serena Berry and I am currently a rising sophomore at the University of Connecticut. When I was in high school I joined STEM and I wanted to create this show to encourage more girls like me to join STEM. This show will be a 10 part series introducing girls to the wonders of STEM and the different sciences behind it. STEM is a field of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics and the innovation that goes behind it. I believe that every girl should be encouraged to join STEM because through STEM they will have their opinions and they will be able to add creativity to the future and the future innovations that are found throughout STEM. I think that the easiest way to join STEM is by joining your local robotics team. Robotics is a really rewarding and fun way to be involved in STEM and it can help you find a passion or future career that you might not have considered before. You don't need to have any prior knowledge when joining robotics. Just show up, learn as much as you can, and have fun. The most important thing is to have fun because through robotics you'll be able to learn all the technical skills that you will need. Our first episode in this show will be called What Can Girls Do? And the answer is anything they choose. Today, I am joined with a very special guest, the FLL team, Legolicious. This is an all-girls team that had an amazing season this past year. This past year, they won the championship award at Massachusetts out of 72 teams. They are an all-girls team, and they won this award for focusing on their project and their robot that did well in their missions at the robotics competition. And I am joined with the girls here. This is Shyla, Emily, Jess, and Emma. Thank you for being here, girls. Yeah, thank, thank you, you for having, having us. us. So let's get started. Um, how was your team formed? Our team was formed about seven years ago. I was nine years old, and we, my brownie troop had just sort of fallen apart. All the girls were kind of scattered. We didn't have anything to do. And I had seen my older brother had an FLL team. And I asked my dad, can we have one too? So we said, sure. So a lot of the girls from our first year came in from the Garnies troop, and that was our first year Legolicious. And how did each of you join the team? Well, I kind of joined mainly uh, from uh, hearing about Emma's um, robotics team, and I knew her from grade school. She's my cousin, which is how I learned about this robotics team, and when I heard that I was robotics, I thought that was super cool because I've never done anything like that before and I really wanted to try it. My friend Eva, she's on my bus and she's also on this team. She just asked me, like, do you want to join robotics? And I'm like, yeah, like it's really fun to code and I love building Legos, so. That's great. And why do you like STEM? <laughs> <laughs> because it's fun and... Um, so many reasons. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, it just gives you a chance to like create and like test your limits of what you can do and it's I don't know like the creative process is always something like because you get to know like you make something with your own hands and there's the pride of that of doing something like that and um, you also kind of like like I said testing the limits you can also like advance your knowledge and whatnot maybe advance the knowledge of somebody else. What other skills have you learned like leadership, communication skills by talking with other teams? We've learned a lot of teamwork learning to work as a team with all different girls that we may not have been friends at school, but thanks to this robotics team, we're, we're all really close friends. And what are some of the core values that you've learned? Our main core value is gracious professionalism. Um, gracious, to be gracious um, means to like be respectful to everyone, um, respectful to their ideas, and in other competitions, even though you're competing, you're supposed to be kind to everyone else. And even in your own team, just in every meeting, you always have to be respectful and gracious and respect their ideas and what they think. And that's a great skill to be learning because it will help you in your future careers as well. Um, what awards have you won? We have won all sorts of awards throughout our years. Um, our first year we won our Champions Award at our qualifiers. We've won teamwork awards. We've won awards for mechanical design, programming, research awards for our project, team spirit awards, all sorts of mm -hmm. <laughs> And what is the biggest accomplishment for your team? Has it been winning those awards or has it just been going to the competitions? 
Um, I think the biggest accomplishment for our team was making it to um, world competition because some of the girls on this team have been on this team for a very long time, and like it, it's some of them. It's been seven years, and it's like it's a very big accomplishment because they've worked so hard to mm -hmm. come up to this point. And I think it's a big accomplishment for um, the rookies that join the team because like they just joined, but I think they don't really know how like great it is because they've other people have worked so hard to get up to this point. Mm -hmm. And um, this past season, the girls actually went to the world final in Detroit. And what was that experience like? It was very hectic because <laughs> um, <laughs> we had to like wake up early in the morning and um, like get go over there, and then we had to like. Um, go obviously to the competition with robots, do our presentation and whatnot. We had to like, make sure that everything was on the cart, nothing would break or anything like that. But it was also like pretty fun because um, I remember we would, I think one of the judges would come up to us, like came up to us and we were like chatting with them again. And uh, we also got to see some other teams' robots, which were like pretty impressive. And like chat with the other team because um, there's a huge pit area we can like go around to like uh, visit other people from other countries. I got to test my Spanish, um, so it was like a, a pretty fun, uh, although busy, um, experience. And did you face any challenges with your season? A lot. Yeah. <laughs> we our robot constantly breaks. It's something we constantly have to improve, work on, fix different parts of the program or different parts of the robot itself. Everything just constantly needs like maintenance, fixing, adjustments, all the time. Yeah, we an attempted using a gyro sensor, which um, typically which has to do with the position of the robot on the field. So, because we were trying to make our turns more accurate, because sometimes the robot would turn too much or turn too little, using the gyro sensor, we were able to ensure like um, turning exactly this amount. However, at the world's competition, it would stop. It would turn that amount and then stop. So we had to like keep trying to see what was. We could do to fix it. So it seems like you faced a lot of challenges, but you were able to overcome them. Um, how have you overcame the challenge of incorporating more girls on your team and keeping their involvement on the team? Uh, it is always something we've had a challenge with because for some reason girls just don't stay on the team. At least twice we've had a complete reset of team members because we just didn't have anyone stay on the team except for three or four girls. So. What we've just been reaching out, asking people if they want to join us, see, saying, hey, we got this awesome team, come join us. And what were some of the challenges the younger girls faced with joining the team? Um, I think just lear having to learn um, all the programming, because the, the older girls had to like teach us, and building robots. And like I think we started off with just programming, just going in a straight line, and then we started doing more complicated missions. and. I remember um, I joined later than uh, the other two rookies, and it was also overwhelming, but all of the people, like all the veterans and all the rookies, they were so inclusive, and they were just eager to teach us everything, and that was really helpful when I joined. Um, do you girls have any fun stories or activities you like to do together? Bad boy. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. Um. Oh, I remember uh, at Worlds, we had like a lot of time in the afternoon, I think after like one of our last couple of days, and we decided to do like some team exercises. Um, like I think Emma and Julianne like demonstrated this thing where you can like stand back to back to somebody and then like when you're sitting on the ground and then stand up. And then Shyla and Eva kept trying to do that, <laughs> but they kept falling. <laughs> um, I don't know, we just tried a couple of team exercises. It was, it was fun. It seems like you girls really have a lot of fun. So much. Yes. <laughs> and somehow a robot gets built within this fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's a wonder. We sing and dance a lot during meetings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what advice would you give to younger girls who are interested in joining STEM? Don't be Just afraid to try it. Yep. Just go for it. I was really scared coming in. I didn't know if I was going to like it, although it seemed really cool. But I'm really glad that I decided to come. So, yeah, right. just go for it. Yeah, as long as like you got like people and supporting you, you got you can do you can join it if you want. I mean, if you don't like it, you don't like it, and then yeah. you can leave. But there's no harm in trying it out. See if you like it. Maybe you'll have a lot of fun like we do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> At the very least, you can like test your interests. Mm -hmm. Maybe so. Maybe if you don't like the aspect of the robot, you could like the aspect of a project or something. 
And I know this is a very early on question, but do you know what you want to do in the future as a career? I've gotten that question so many times. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to be a veterinarian. Um, I was thinking of doing something with mechanical or electrical engineering. I uh, also want to keep going uh, my interest in art. And how will robotics help you in these future careers? When you're getting into college, they look for having a lot of, especially if you're going into a science technology field, they look for you to have experience in science and technology. And so First Lego League and its older competition, First Robotics Competition, it's something they look for and they even give scholarships for in some cases. Yeah, uh, considering I want to go into mechanical engineering, having that like experience of like building something and like knowing, um, I guess, just uh, knowing the hands-on experience, for mm -hmm. instance. And also some of the leadership and professional skills that you've learned yeah. throughout competing. Um, what are your plans and goals for the future of your team? Um, just to kind of keep the team together, because we're an all-girls team and it just we're trying to encourage more girls to join so we're tr just going to try to keep an all-girls team going. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have four veteran, veterans aging out so it leaves three rookies so <laughs> hopefully yeah we'll be able to keep the team afloat and like make it to states, maybe make it to worlds again someday. And how will you continue to mentor the team? Well as much as you guys want us to we'll be there helping you out at the meetings, helping you teach some hopefully new girls joining the team because I know only one year just being taught the skills is it you do still lack some experience that we have had and um, these are some of the robots that you have brought um, was this the robot that you worked on last year yes this is our robot it's called the bot 5027 yeah uh, we have attachments um, that we call crowns because it like it slides right on top of the robot as if it was a crown like on top of a head. so we like to put them on our heads <laughs> yeah that's how that's how their uh, name or, um, came from because uh, one of our team members decided to put it on her head and just call it a crown so um, thank you Legolicious for being here today um, it was great for you to share your experiences with the audience at home um, stay tuned for the next episode, which will be entitled Space Girls, where Legolicious will talk all about their robot and the project that they created. Yeah.